name is Anton and I have been working for Stoma Den Dental Lab for over six years. I am the current uh, manager for the metal uh, department and it's very interesting to see how much um, digital design and digital frameworks have changed in the past five years. Um, the, the beauty of making digital removable partial dentures is that the consistency is always there. Um, whether you're designing on 3Shape or ExoCAD, uh, the designs always come out to be flawless and they always come out to be accurate. Um, for instance, in, in, in this case, as we're designing a Wyronium uh, metal frame, we first choose how we want to survey our case and as we set up the correct uh, path of insertion we end up opening the undercuts. Once that is complete we can continue and begin designing the, the mesh or the saddles. And as we go to the next step we are able to design the major connector whether in this case it's a lingual bar with a metal backing or metal plate. Again, the, the good thing about digital design is being able to work on specific areas in, in different ways, whether you want one clasp to be thicker than another or vice versa. If you want your mesh to be thinner uh, in the anterior uh, segment of the partial compared to the posterior because of lack of space, um, or things like that, you are able to do that. Again, the, 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 the great thing about digital design is that most of the work is, is basically done for you if you draw your design accurately. At the end of the day, as you're finishing the partial, you just need to bump out the areas such as the connections the elbows of the clasps and or the connection between the mesh and the major connector while everything else gets smoothed out automatically by um, this software which is 3Shape. Another thing that we end up doing here in the lab is we are able to design um, acetal frames, uh, removable frames, uh, which are designed in this uh, very similar way as a a metal frame work. The great thing about them is as we're designing them on our software we are able to utilize more of the undercut as we are designing the clasps which means that we can also place the clasping much uh, lower and closer to the tissue level and which would also make them less visible. Also at the same time these acetyl frameworks will be tooth colored and so they will be blending in with the tooth as well. I believe the best part about being able to design uh, the acetyl frameworks as well as the metal frameworks and our titanium uh, frameworks is the fact that we produce these frames here in-house. So whether we are 3D printing our Wyronium frames and then casting them here or we are designing our acetyl frames and our titanium frames and milling them also in-house. Again, you can see here with the, the design for the acetyl framework, the clasp is much thicker where it's connecting to the minor connector, but also becomes thinner and more narrow as it goes to the mesial part of the tooth. So with these acetyl frames, again, they're a great substitute for patients that do not want to wear metal partials but rather prefer to have something that's more aesthetically pleasing and flexible rather than something that's made out of metal or titanium. The main difference between the metal frameworks such as Wyronium or titanium is that these flexible acetyl frameworks are again tooth colored so they will match the teeth of the patient and at the same time be flexible in the patient's mouth. The newest uh, type of frame frameworks that we have in the lab right now is these 
titanium frameworks. Uh, the number one great thing about these titanium frameworks is the fact that they are much, much lighter than a conventional Wironium framework or any other chrome cobalt type of uh, partial denture. The other thing about it is the reliability that we all know about titanium being in the medical field where even the implants that dentists place in the patient's mouth are made out of titanium. And so there's no erosion that comes off of them and they are very reliable and the, you all know that they will stay in the patient's mouth for many, many years. So this also applies to our titanium frameworks because they will be just as reliable and at the same time very lightweight. We are still able to add teeth and or uh, clasping if for the future whenever a patient will be uh, missing teeth or getting teeth extracted. One thing our laboratory uh, does that's a bit a step forward or a step further than a, another uh, lab would be the fact that as we design with uh, digitally our frameworks, we also are able to use uh, this haptic device. Um, the difference between using this haptic device or a conventional uh, mouse uh, that uh, software recommends and is okay is the fact that with this device, we are able to be a lot more precise. As we're designing, we literally feel the 3D aspects of each model and or framework as we're designing. So if I need to find out where to place my mesh on the ridge of the patient's mouth, I will feel where the center of the ridge is and place it at or below the ridge. Same with the teeth as we're designing them because we are able to feel the tooth and fill in areas that maybe have holes or bubbles and block them out. Um, again, with this haptic device it is makes designing much more accurate and precise than just a conventional uh, computer mouse.